Anthony Martial has divided opinion since coming to Manchester United all the way back now in 2015. The player possesses a lot of talent to this day. We see on the football pitch and what he can offer in a team now managed by Eric Ten Hag that has grown leaps and bounds. Still has a long way to go. A few personnel to offload perhaps and some players to bring in, but that will happen in time. We've got a whole ownership situation looming over the club right now, which we don't know is actually happening in this current moment of time. I'm going to have to read up a bit more about that. I'm definitely going to do a video. Damn. I'm definitely going to do a video about it in the coming weeks or even days. But back to Anthony Martial. There's been a lot of discourse over the last couple of years of whether it is time now for Manchester United to offload, for Manchester United to give up on a guy who has a lot of talent, has had a lot of potential for many years now, but unfortunately has not been able to deliver on a consistent basis. I'm going to read out some stats for you here, and I'm going to give my own personal opinion, and you guys can give me your opinions in the comment section below as well. So first season, he comes in 15-16, I believe managed by Louis van Gaal. 29 goal contributions. Now, what a fantastic start to your Manchester United career. We all remember that Liverpool goal. Welcome to you know England, Anthony Martial, all of that good stuff. But the seasons after that, he kind of dipped. And it wasn't like his production wasn't great. It wasn't as good as the first season. But it took him a while to kind of pick himself back up. I remember him losing his shirt. Kind of complaining about that a little bit to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who came in. He had a good season. Took his shirt number and stuff like that. But Anthony Martial didn't really have a, a superb or bettered. Didn't really better that first season until 2019-20 where he had 35 goal contributions under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But for me, the inconsistencies in between is a theme, not just with him, but at the club of Manchester United as a whole. We think about Manchester United in the last several years. There has been ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. There's no middle. There's no median. Even now, under Eric Ten Hag, we started the season horrifically. We were able to start... Finding a bit of form, but even when we are playing well, there comes a game where it all comes crashing down once again. And I think there are many factors to that. Go back to Anthony Martial once again. There are factors that have affected his consistency of being out there on the pitch. You know, he, in terms of his whole Manchester United career, he's played almost 300 games, over 100 goal contributions in all competitions and he's had 20 separate injuries in that time and that equates to 79 games missed which are calculated on transfer market it could be more depending on how accurate it is but it is shocking that is a shocking stat and even this season once again we've had Valt Veghorst a lot of people they kind of warmed to him originally but as the time has gone on and the goals just didn't come. A lot of people have been complaining about Veghorst's output, his inability to put the ball in the back of the net. And they're saying, well, this wouldn't be a problem if we had Anthony Martial, which I'm not 100% sure with because we are definitely severely struggling in terms of our creativity. It has been that way for quite a while now, the last three maybe years or so. We have been struggling scoring goals, creating quality chances and even with the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Christian Eriksen in our team, Marcus Rashford who's having his best year so far, we are still struggling to score goals in the league which has hurt us. Our goal difference has been significantly below the competition when you look at Newcastle, Manchester City, Arsenal who have had a crushing loss tonight by the way against their title rivals but Nonetheless, we need to improve in that department. And I don't think just Anthony Martial is going to fix that. So, do I believe that we should give up on the Martial experiment? Is it time to let Anthony Martial go? Going into this season, I believed that everybody should be given an opportunity to showcase growth. I didn't forget what happened, all of the bad. But I said, it's a new manager coming in. 
he will have his own ideologies. He will have uh, his own ideas of what he wants a player to become, how they need to play, how he wants the team as a collective to play. So there were opportunities out there for players to prove their point. And Anthony Martial definitely has made an impression on Ellington Haag because he's the perfect profile of striker that he's wanted this season. Unfortunately, he has not been available enough to be a significant contributor. And it goes back to that in the end of the day. Could Anthony Martial end up being a bench option that we bring off and he can score goals and impact the game from there? Don't know if he would accept that. If not, then maybe we will have to move on from Anthony Martial and just say his fitness isn't going to hold up, especially if we're improving all of these different areas, which are not guaranteed just yet. If we're improving our team and the striker position is still a weakness because of having to rely on a guy who just consistently gets injured, then that would be on the fault of Manchester United, not on Anthony Martial. It would be on the fault of Manchester United for not analysing that and fixing the problem as soon as possible. I mean, let's face the facts. They haven't done that anyway. They haven't done that in a lot of areas, but hey, we, we need to start moving different now. And I hope with this ownership situation that one day we can. But I fear also that may not be guaranteed. I keep swaying away from the point. Ladies and gentlemen in the comments, let me know. Is it time for Anthony Martial to leave Manchester United? Is it time for us to give up on the Frenchman who they said was 50 million down the drain or will he score again?